Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to match the thermodynamic probability that we've seen in the previous videos with a new concept called entropy. Well, in thermodynamics, of course, entropy is not a new concept, but it is in this particular video series. So how do we match entropy and thermodynamic probability and thermodynamic, what we call um, therm uh, statistical thermodynamics? So, well, we have to go back to Boltzmann. Ludwig Boltzmann, he was born in 1844 and died in 1906, so he lived 62 years. He came up with this very simplistic calculation to define entropy. S is the letter that we use to define entropy, and it's equal to some constant, which is now known as the Boltzmann constant, times the natural log of the number of microstates. Hmm. K is 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 joules per Kelvin. And S entropy will be equal to zero. So when S is zero, when it has its lowest value, that's when we have the highest ordered state. So for the highest ordered state, S equals zero, and that is the least probable state. And entropy will be a maximum value for the highest ordered state when it's the highest probability state. So this is interesting. Entropy goes up as disorder increases. Entropy goes down as order increases. So it's kind of inversely proportional to the order. So the least likely state that something can be in, that means entropy is very low. That usually means that there's a high order, a high degree of order there. And when entropy goes up, that's when, you when you, the state becomes more disorderly. You have a higher probability of that to happen. Things tend to tend to move from an ordered state to a disordered state and the probability of ending up in a disordered state is much greater than the probability of being in an ordered state. So when we do a simple example, let's say we have a two-state system, heads and tails, with four coins. So there will be five microstates where you can have four heads, zero tails, three heads, one tail, two heads, two tails, one head, three tails, or zero heads and four tails. And therefore, in each microstate, there's a certain number of microstates. There's only one microstate in this microstate. There's four in the second microstate. There's six in the third microstate, back down to four for the fourth microstate, and one microstate in the fifth microstate. So the thermodynamic probability is four, one, four, six, four, and one. So you can see that the thermodynamic probability equals the number of microstates in each microstate. And the true probability is what is the probability that that can exist, that that particular scenario or that particular arrangement of microstates can exist in a particular microstate. And so you can see that this, when you add these up, they add up to one because that's usually how we denote the true probability. Now, let's say that we want to calculate the entropy for microstate one, where we have four heads and one or four heads and zero tails. So that means that for four heads and zero tails, we have the, we only have one microstate. So that means that W equals one. There's only one microstate in that particular microstate. And so the entropy for that would be equal to K times the natural log of the number of microstates, which in this case is one. Now the natural log of 1 is equal to 0, so this would be equal to 0. That means entropy is at 0 in the most ordered state of this particular system. Now, what is the entropy when we go to the most disordered state, the most likely state to be in? So that would be micro, the microstate 3, and there's six different microstates that can exist. So therefore, when we have two heads, and two tails, which is the most disordered state we can be in. That means that the number of microstates is equal to six. That means the entropy for that will be equal to K times the natural log of six. Now, of course, the natural log of six, if you want to put a number on that, six takes the natural log of that, which is 1.79. So this would be equal to 1.79 times the Boltzmann's constant. So that's how we calculate entropy if we know how many microstates there are. It's a very simplistic picture, a sim very simplistic view, but it does make sense because as you get a higher probability of disorder, you end up with a higher entropy when you reach that state because you're more likely to end up there and it's less likely to end up in a more ordered state. Typically, you would have to do work, get all the coins to be all four heads or four tails, and if you do things at random, most likely they end up in a state where you have two heads and two tails. And that's what we mean by entropy 
in E macro. That, that, that's what we mean by the definition of entropy for a macro state.